what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about terrifier 3 in this video here again today we'll be talking about the budget we'll be talking about the cast we'll be talking about sienna's backstory that we seemingly will dig deeper into according to what lauren had to say in this interview we're gonna be talking about what i think has to do with the controversial opening sequence that leone has teased in the past as well but all of this comes courtesy of the new interview from deadline that i'm sure a lot of you have seen reported on today uh so damien damien leone had this to say with deadline in regards to terrifier 3 he said we're in pre-production right now we're going to start shooting in two months beginning of february so we're in the thick of it we're assembling our crew we're still casting we're getting locations in order special effects are being created and we're still working on drafts it could always be better and tighter i never stopped doing that all the way through production i'm finally getting to the stage where i'm very excited about it we're about to make a movie again which is my childhood fantasy come true in terms of who we can expect back goes on to talk about how david is coming back obviously in relation to who plays art the clown lauren is back obviously in relation to who plays sienna samantha who plays victoria elliot fulham who stars as sienna's brother jonathan and for all of my wrestling fans out there who are aware that this person did appear in terrifier 2 chris jericho is coming back too now they go on to talk about damien that being going to talk about the budget saying that this time we have a couple of million to play with so echoing what falcone was saying over on Nerdbox's channel. So another big shout out to them for that interview and getting that scoop. Leone says the budget or a chunk of the budget is also going to be going towards practical effects by also mentioning that it would be going towards their cast members. But he says a chunk of it as well will be going towards practical effects. So that makes me excited to now have an understanding of where they want to utilize this budget. He goes on to say, this is the first time in my career I got to hire a Hollywood makeup effects crew to come in and take all of that off of my plate, which is incredible. And like I've stated in the past, I cannot wait to see how this budget that they have to work with, which again is in the couple of millions, is going to end up resulting in the overall production value. I cannot wait. To, I love how each movie is gradually just improving one after the other and i gotta have a i have nothing but respect for someone as a filmmaker who started from where they were and has worked their way up to where they are now and they have all this integrity about preserving the story they want to tell they don't want to let all of these hollywood studios get involved and start influencing their creative vision as we know they've talked about in the past with how the studios were turned off by some of the details and the gore of the film but whatever i'm certain terrifier 3 will be just fine without any type of major commercial backing by the likes of lionsgate and you know all those other major companies now lauren had this to say about her return to the franchise she stated that Damien's vision for my character was special and now he's set to take it an entirely new level take it to an entirely new level it's been surreal to witness the immense connection and support from fans for Sienna and I applaud Damien for introducing a strong female character the angel dressed heroine who gets to face off against Art the Clown's merciless ways I can't wait for you to see the next chapter of Sienna as Damien dives deeper into her backstory now I thought that part was interesting because we know in the second film we did start see start to see anyway sienna trying to draw connections between her father who was drawing things about art the clown and then we saw this cast or not cast but this list of characters that are going to be appearing in terrifier 3 related to the fact that they now live with their aunt and their cousin and their uncle so we're gonna possibly dig deeper into that backstory in that regard via their family connections on the members we're going to meet in the upcoming movie but we'll see what all that means since we're going to be diving deeper into her backstory in the past though this is the main thing i want to talk about leone tease that this opening scene of the film would be controversial he said so mark my words at one at one point he said this so mark my words i guarantee you that the first five minutes of this movie is going to be very controversial but that's not even the big kill scene so like that's why i was like i need to just make this movie on my own because it's just too it's too insane now here's what's interesting about this deadline interview today he said this is going to pick up where part two left off in the in the insane asylum so you're going to see what happens there what mayhem unfolds because seeing how art and victoria ended up is so insane and seeing how they're are seeing how they get out of that situation and what happens next is going to be really wild so we have to get chris back in there and see how he becomes a part of that situation in reference to chris jericho and his role i think he was a security guard in the second film but i think this is what our opening sequence will be and this is where the controversy controversial teases he's been talking about will be found 
it's picking up right where the second one left off in that asylum chris jericho will be there so i think this eliminates the likelihood of it having to do with a child being killed in the opening like a lot of people were worried about granted i still don't know where that child in the teaser would even fall into place for the story i've seen some people speculate that that's actually sienna uh and sienna possibly could be i mean it could be sienna but i would imagine it's sienna dreaming of herself as a young child in that instance because art the clown doesn't seem like someone who knew sienna from what we know when she was a kid but maybe this is going to be her way of remembering that granted i don't think that is sienna i hope nothing happens too grotesquely to the child but if it does you know tough squash i don't know what to tell you that's his creative vision if he wants to do that that's that's on him <laughs> but i like these updates that came out in relation to terrifier 3 today i like that we're going to be digging into sienna's backstory a little more perhaps again like i just stated perhaps that really is her in that teaser and art the clown has known her since she was a child how or why i guess we'll find out also i like that we are going to be picking up where two left off and getting to see what happens in the insane asylum i like that chris jericho is back because i think he did a fine job granted it was a very small appearance but he did a fine job in terrifier 2 and shame on you who do not know who chris jericho is you know who you are just having fun with you <laughs> uh but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below are you excited for terrifier 3 why or why not what do you hope to see in the upcoming film are you disappointed about the controversial opening sequence that has been talked about in the past possibly having to do with the fact that it's picking up in the insane asylum because this is damien leone's own wording from the deadline interview he stated that he's going to pick up where two left off in the insane asylum so i'm assuming whatever controversial five minutes he's talking about it's in relation to what goes down in that insane asylum because he also goes on to talk about mayhem unfolding so it has to be that but again let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have not already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video